The registry is a database of all the settings that the Microsoft Windows operating system, its applications, and hardware device drivers use to maintain their configurations. In many ways, the registry sits at the heart of Windows, and power users can utilize it to make their computers accomplish seemingly impossible tasks. But why does Windows have a registry? The registry was introduced to Windows with the release of Windows 95 and persists to today. Prior to Windows 95, configuration information was stored in text files, similar to current .ini files, but there were several issues with this. Not only was it way too easy for users to accidentally delete these files, with no way to undo the damage, but those configuration files also lacked a standardized structure, so each developer made them up for their applications as needed. The registry centralized and standardized configuration storage. It made it virtually impossible for users to accidentally delete or destroy any of the information in the registry. It could also be backed up and is securely protected by Windows from malicious attacks. In Windows 10 and 11, the registry, although fallible, is a sophisticated system that can maintain and repair itself. The registry is a hierarchical database. At the top of the hierarchy is your computer. Under that, you'll find the main branches, known as hives. Within these hives are registry keys. Keys can contain subkeys and registry values. There are three types of key values, string, binary, or D-word. A string is a line of text. A binary value is just that, a value expressed as ones and zeros. A D-word is a four-byte number. These are usually used to store Boolean values, so a one or a zero could represent something like enabled or disabled. The five main branches of the registry each store a different class of settings. HKey classes root, also known as HKCR, is where Windows interface settings such as file associations, shortcuts, and settings that support drag and drop functionality reside. HKey current users, also known as HKCU, is where you'll find settings for the currently logged in Windows user, such as login names and custom desktop and start menu settings. HKey Local Machine, also known as HKLM, is where settings for hardware and software are stored, including your group policy settings. HKey Users contains settings for all users of the PC, and each user has their own subkey. HKey Current Config links back to the portion of HKey Local Machine related to current hardware configuration settings. If you're looking for the registry settings of a specific aspect of your computer, knowing the difference between the main branches can cut down the investigation time to finding what you need. Now, don't edit the registry unless you have a specific reason for doing so, and that reason has to be more important than the stability of your system or any time and data you might potentially lose. If you follow an online guide that shows you how to edit your registry for a specific outcome, remember to check the comment section to see how that edit worked out for other users. Also, based on what you've just learned about the registry structure, try to analyze whether the guide makes any sense. Because if something goes wrong with the edit, your computer may fail at startup after a shutdown due to corrupted system settings. If you'd like more info on how to edit the registry and all the different ways it could go wrong, Check out the article linked in the description below. See you next time.